Welcome back to season 17 of the save where we set out to end the dominance of Rangers and Celtic in Scottish football. And now we've pretty much accomplished that. We've won eight titles in a row. We're well on our way to our ninth. We started the season in the last episode. We won eight from eight in the league and we made it through to the quarterfinal of the League Cup. Without further ado, let's get straight into the action with that quarterfinal against Hibs. This is the side we've picked for the quarterfinal against Hibs. It's pretty much our full strength team. The only player that's missing is actually the skipper, Stefan Rackler. He's out for a couple of weeks with an injury. So we've gone with Bordes and Varga as the central defensive partnership. And hopefully we can continue our, our good run on. We um, have played one league game since the end of the last episode where we beat Kilmarnock 3-1 at home to extend our 100% league record. And now hopefully we can get past Hibs to make it through to the the semi-finals so they've had a lot of possession in the early minutes we and they've had a lot of shots as well obviously nothing quite good enough to trigger a highlight but they've had four shots on target inside the opening seven or eight minutes but we've got a corner here Cochise to take from the right lifts it into the box keeper comes and makes an absolute mess of it it looks pretty much like it just hit Reykjavik and went in and puts us one nil up So Cochise lifts it into the box. The keeper comes and looks like he just basically drops it onto Reykjavic's head. He puts it in the back of the net and we're 1-0 up. Right, they've got a throw down their right. And long down the line, Tebow cuts it out, but they've still got it. It's still coming down this right-hand side and drifting infield now into the middle of the pitch. There's space on that left hand side for the fullback getting forward. Cross low into the box. Great save by Valem. And we've kind of helped it clear there. Right, Tebow wins the ball back. Gets it to Varga. Into Skafidis. Back to Varga. Luciano. Back to Bordes. They're not really pressing our defenders here. Varga. White to Tebow. Was back to Valem. They're letting the, the defence have it, but pressing anything in midfield. But Luciano now, Bordes, Luciano again with some space this time. Finds Simoesh onto Rajkovic. Wide to Tebow, storming forward from left back. It's the byline, low cross, all the way through to Cochise, to, arriving from the far post. Makes it 2 0 and puts us in a commanding position in this quarter final. Right, which I thought originally he was looking for Kerr, but then there's Tebow storming forward. Takes it to the byline, just hammers it low. Rykovic goes past him, and then Cochise reacts better than the keeper in the defence to make it 2 0. Right. Throw in deep in their half, Cochise to take. Goes to Bordes, who goes down the box, but Cochise has got it back. Goes low and it gets a deflection or the keeper managed to get a touch on it. It goes behind for a corner. Riker to take it from the left. Swings it in on his right foot. Bordes rises high. He powers the header past the keeper. 3-0 in less than half an hour. And we are flying in this quarter final. Plonks it in. There's a load of players there. Bordes arrives late. Gets his head on it. And makes it 3-0. And there we go, half time, 3 0 up. After them dominating position early on and having four shots on target inside seven minutes, we've we've really come back and and just completely overpowered them. 3 0 up at half time. And in a really good position to make it through to the semi final. We might need to make a few changes just to rest a few players. We've got some important games coming up in all competitions. Um, but otherwise things are going Pretty well so far. We've made two changes at half time. We've brought Turnbull on for Amrani and we've brought Van Giesel on for Luciano. Luciano coming to the game with a bit of a knock and Amrani is one of our most important players and 
plays most games, so any chance we can give him a rest, good for us. We made another two subs. We've brought Bustos on on the right. We've brought Ash on on the left and taken Cochise and Kerr off just to give them a rest as well. All right, Bordes sweeps the ball up at the back there. Down the line to Bustos, back, Dermbal, Gafidis to Van Giesel. We're keeping the ball well here. Bordes into Bustos. Puts in field but goes back to Bordes. Gafidis now with some space to move forward into. Swings it wide left. What a ball to Ash. Puts it on his right foot, shot from the edge of the box, and he's bent it into the top corner, and that's the screamer of a goal. Lovely ball out wide from Scafidis. Found Ash in acres of space. He's got time to pick that pass out. Right on his chest, takes it down, cuts in field, it approaches the edge of the box and just lifts it into that far corner, gave the keeper no chance, and puts us 4-0 up. Right, a corner from the right, from the left to the right, which in, it's headed up in the air, it's headed clear as far as Ash. He goes wide to Van Giesel on the right, looks to get past his man, shot from, look, might, might have taken a bit of a deflection, hits the post and comes back out. They've got a free kick lifted towards our box, they've got a head on it, and Drusius got there in front of Alem, and hopefully that's just a consolation goal. We're still... 15 minutes or so left with injury time, but surely they can't come back from 4-1 down now. Right, corner for us, Bustos to take us short to Turnbull, low cross in. It's cleared as far as Thibaut. He goes down the left-hand side, gets all the way to the byline, low cross in. Duffy turns it home, and that's 5-1, and, and that should be us definitely, definitely into the semi-final now. Thibault's allowed to travel a long way with the ball. Once, he, once he, he's back on his own, goes right around the outside, low cross in, and Duffy just sweeps it home with the left foot. Shortly after coming on to make it 5-1. Right, free kick about 30 yards out. Simon wish to take it. It's over the wall. Keeper beats it clear. Turnbull's the one that reacts to it. Finds Ash in the box. That looked like a really weird one. His shot got blocked and then it comes back off Ash and flies into the back of the net. I don't know whether it was just a deflection or whether he actually meant that. Keeper makes a decent save. Turnbull into Ash in the box. He drives forward. It did just take a massive deflection. It didn't come back to him at all on, on seeing the replay there. Right, free kick, Busto swings it in. Varga with a header. And that's 7 1. And I'm not quite sure how this has happened because Hibs have, over the last couple of seasons, managed to position themselves as our biggest challengers in Scottish football. No one marking Varga at all. The free header at the back post, and that's 7 1 with a couple of minutes still left to play. And there we go, a thoroughly dominant performance in the quarterfinal. 7 1 victory over Hibs. Let's see us through to the semi final. We're now at the end of October and we've got the semi final of the League Cup coming up against Livingston, who have done well to make it through to the semi final, given that all they've got in the league so far this season is four draws. Since the quarter final against Hibs, we've, we've continued our 100% record in the league and we've picked up another victory in the Champions League. We started immediately after the the quarter-final with a, a home game in the league against Hibs. Uh, having put seven past them at home in the quarter-final, we then put five past them in the league without them scoring. We then went to Turkey to take on Besiktas and won 5-0 away from home. We then beat Livingston 6-1 away in the league with Pedro Simoes popping up with four. And we beat Dundee United in the most recent game, 3-0 at home. Champions League, we have two wins from three games. So we sat just in the top eight on six points. Uh, obviously, we, we had that dismal performance opening up against Newcastle, um, but we've, we've bounced back and we're in a pretty strong position going into the second half of the, the league phase there. And then as far as the league's concerned, we've played 12 games, we've won 12 games, and we are 12 points clear at the top of the table. Uh, it's basically 13 because of the difference in goal difference. After 12 games, we've got a plus 42 goal difference. The next best team is Rangers with plus 13. Uh, we are dominating all of the individual player 
stats. And really that just shows what a season we've actually we've had so far. And now the attention turns to the semi-final against Livingston. So this is the side we've picked for the semi-final. Um, we've taken the opportunity to, to rest a few players. Rackler is now back fit enough to be involved, but we're not going to risk him for the, for the sake of this game, so he's going to be on the bench. We've gone with Bordes and Duda as the seventh defensive pair, and we're giving Alvarez a run out at left-back. Um, we're giving Bustos a, a run on the left wing to give Alan Kerr a bit of a rest, and we're giving Cameron home the start up front. Alvarez with the throw into the box. It's nodded down by Bordes. Bustos goes to the byline, squares it. And there's Scafidis to tap home. And Busto's having an immediate impact from the start there. Great start to the game. And, and really, I mean, they're going to have to come forward. It's a long throw. Bordes nods it down. Busto's just goes past him, man. Drills it in low. Keeper doesn't cut it out. Scafidis couldn't miss from the three yards out. <clears throat> right, Alvarez with another throw. This time short to Busto's. Again, he gets to the byline, pulls it back to Alvarez on the edge of the box. He finds Bordes, who somehow manages to bend it in from the edge of the box there for a centre-half. That was a hell of a finish. It was a shorter throw. Bustos gets to the byline and then just pulls it back to Alvarez, who's free on the edge of the box. He shifts it on. As the defender comes out to close him down, he moves it on to four days and he just bends it into that bottom corner. I mean, attacking on the left-hand side, getting closer into the box, and he's hit the post, it was a great effort, the keeper was nowhere near it, but we've managed to get it clear. Luciano with a free kick goes short, Scafidis, he squares it into the box to Alvarez, I think probably he must have been offside. That's been disallowed. Luciano went short, Reykjavic it was that whipped the cross in, and Alvarez looked a lot further offside by the time he got to the ball because the defence had stopped, but he was just fractionally offside. And there we are, half-time, 2 0 pretty comfortable. More of the same in the second half, just to make sure we secure our place in the final. And Cochise for the corner, into the near post, Bordes flicks it on, and it's just over the top. They've gone long over the top, it goes all the way through to Belém. Straight away out to Alvarez, Rajkovic back to Bordes. Luciano White Cochise puts inside. I find Scafidis with some space outside of the foot to Bustos. Going against his full back. Pulls it back to Scafidis on the edge of the box, takes a touch, smashes it towards goal, and the keeper did, turns it behind for a corner. Cochise to take it from that right. In swing it to the near post. Bordes gets his head on. Yeah, but pretty easy for the keeper in the end. After that early flurry of chances to start the second half, it's gone a bit quieter now. Duda bringing it forward from the back. Out to Kerr on the right. Over the top. Bustos takes it down his chest in the box. Huge from a tight angle. The keeper saves it. Comes back to Tebow. He gets to the byline, squares it. There's Cameron home to tap home for his first goal of the season. And he's not going to get many easier chances than that this season. The Bustos went behind. The keeper saves it. It's only cleared as far as Tebow. Goes past his man. Gets the bat and squares it. And we had two players there that could have tapped it in. Holmes the one that got it. And that's 3-0 up and surely books our place in the final now. From the kickoff though. They've got it. They're trying to go through the middle of the pitch. They've gone long over the top. They've got in behind. And they've pulled the goal back straight away. Maybe we were a bit too soon to say we were certainly in the final, but surely we're not going to collapse. And we can see another two. It's, a, it's just basically a long hoof forward. Turnbull misjudges it. Bordes doesn't get there. And then... No one tracked the run really of Cristiano to get the goal. Right, Borders with a free kick, short to Luciano. Duda forward to Duffy onto Bustos. 
the defender cut it out. But Lacan wins it back. Luciano onto Kerr, into Home in the box. Probably took a touch too many and then couldn't get it on target. They've got a free kick into the box. It's flicked on. It's poked home. And we're going to need to see a VAR check here. I think the referee's probably given that as offside, but it's been given. There's a straight free kick. It's flicked on. No one tracked the runner Martinez. And it's a simple tap in pass for Lem. And now from being 3-0 up in the 73rd minute, it's now 3-2 in the 77th minute. And we need to wake up here. Right, a throw in for them late on. We're into injury time here. Home wins it. Sends it forward for Kerr, who loses out. Duffy then overruns it. Now they're coming forward on the left-hand side. Still got it. Played forward. Bordes cuts it out. Infield to Lacam. Luciano back to Lacam. Forward Duffy, whose ball picked up by them. And now three on three at the back here. And luckily... The shot hits the side net and they couldn't get it on target. And there we are, full time. I mean, the positive is we've, we've won the game, we've made it to the final. The massive glaring negative in that game is that once we got 3 0, we'd our best to throw that tie away. Um, and if we were playing a team that had a bit more confidence than the bottom of the table team who haven't won a league game all season, we probably would have got punished. Um, but we made it through to the final and another chance for. Another bit of silverware. We've made it to the end of November and since that semi-final against Livingston we've continued our brilliant run of form. First up we beat Azid Alkmaar 3-1 away from home. We then beat Ross County 4-1 at home. And then had a trip to Dunfermline which we, we struggled to break them down. We came away with a 1-0 victory. Then we went to Liverpool and got a pretty early lead from a, a similar penalty and managed to hold on for all three points. We then beat Celtic 4-1 in the league at home. And then in the most recent league game, we beat Aberdeen 2-0. What it means as far as the Champions League is concerned is after five games, we've won four, we've lost one, we've got 12 points, we're in fourth place in the league phase. We're in a really strong position to finish in that top eight and avoid the knockout playoff round. And then, as far as the league's concerned, it is the perfect start. We've played 16 games, we've won 16 games. We're 12 points clear of Hibs, who've played a game more than us. We've got a plus 51 goal difference, and we are still dominating these individual player stats as well. So, things couldn't be going much better. And so, the end of another episode, and we've continued on our great start to the season. We've still got that perfect record in the league. We've done brilliantly in the Champions League and we've made it to the League Cup final. Join us in the next episode for that League Cup final, which is against Celtic, and just to see whether we can consolidate and finish in the top eight of the Champions League league phase. And also to see whether we sign or sell any players in, in January. We've got a couple of players that are out of contract at the end of the season that don't look like they're going to sign a new deal so we may opt to move them on or we may opt to keep them but we'll we'll see if there's any serious interest in the January transfer market thanks for watching and we'll see you next time